Hey everybody, it's Beanard, and today is a monumental day because it marks the official end of my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle series. So, for those of you who've been following the channel for any length of time, you will know that these battles made up the overwhelming majority of the content here on the channel. So I thought it would be cool to take a special look back at some facts and figures about the series as a whole. So I prepared this uh, short presentation, so we're just going to jump right into that. So I want to start off with uh, some general stats about the series. I've had a total of 99 battles here on the channel. Not 99 problems, but 99 battles. <laughs> uh, only some of which were problems, but that's okay. Um, so... 94 of those battles were singles matches, and five of them were multi-battles. Uh, main reason for that is uh, singles battles are the easiest kind of battle to come across. Multis are a lot harder because you need to coordinate uh, four people as opposed to two uh, for the battle, and then also uh, commentating on them to post them is quite harder when you have uh, four Pokemon on the field at the same time to keep track of versus two, um, but... Uh, so that's the reason behind that. I didn't do any doubles or triples because those are kind of harder to find too, and I don't really care too much for either of them anyway, so I didn't feel like going out of my way to uh, get any of those. Um, but again, uh, of the 99 battles I had, I won 83 of them and lost 16 of them, so that brings my uh, win percentage to about 84%. So I know uh, at this point you're probably all thinking, well, Beanard, you decide what battles you post on your channel, so you can just make your win percentage whatever you want. And well, yes, technically that's true. I do decide what content gets posted and what content doesn't. I'm here to tell you guys that I'm not out to make myself look good. That was never the intention of this channel, nor will it ever be. The purpose of this channel has always been two things. Number one, to entertain all of you guys, and number two, for me to have some fun. So um, I think the best possible way to do both those things is to uh, give you guys uh, the closest and most competitive Wi-Fi battles I can win or lose. So um, you'll never see me posting one-side battles here on this channel um, where I five or six oh somebody or I get five or six owed. That's not going to happen because that's not entertainment to me. Um, so uh, that 84% uh, percent win ratio actually means a lot to me because I fought very hard uh, in a lot of battles against a lot of uh, very good teams and a lot of very good opponents to earn that. So um, I really do uh, take a lot of pride in that. And uh, to me, that is accurate because I uh, try to post a uh, an accurate proportion of um, everything, my wins and losses. Obviously, I can't post every battle, but um, I post close to every battle I have, especially uh, toward the end with the last two teams I used. Just about every battle I had got posted, so um, I do strive for accuracy. Um, so that number does mean a lot to me. And uh, also a couple more numbers. Um, I faced 86 different opponents here. Uh, on the channel, and then also used 42 different Pokemon. So, uh, speaking of the opponents, uh, right here I have a list of all the opponents that I faced, um, starting at the top left-hand corner, and then going all the way down, and then uh, going down the right side as well. So, uh, you will see uh, their names and how many appearances they made on the channel. So, um, the numbers in the uh, appearance boxes are uh, might be a little confusing, so I'll uh, explain that. The first number outside the parentheses is going to be the total amount of appearances that that person made on the channel. Um, and then inside the parentheses, the first number is going to be how many times I defeated them. The second number is going to be how many times they defeated me. And the third number is going to be how many times we teamed up in a multi-battle. So uh, you can see that uh, my old friend Milo and my girlfriend Sarah are tied at the top for uh, most appearances at six, followed by my uh, friend and fellow YouTuber Rocky at five. Uh, just a side note about him. Um, he's been off the channel for quite some time now because unfortunately he actually got his uh, 
Pokemon games and DS stolen. So uh, he kind of just decided to call it quits until um, Sun and Moon come out, which will be uh, very shortly. So um, that's kind of been the reason for his absence. Um, but anyway, uh, continuing on down the list, um, you can see uh, it just filters down from there. Um, and it only uh, goes down to um, 10 uh, actual different individuals who've made more than one appearance on the channel. So uh, the overwhelming majority of the people uh, who, who've been on the channel have just been once and done. And the main reason for that is I don't really know any of these people. Um, these are just mostly random people that I've uh, faced online uh, with the exception of a select few. Um, and then I just never see them again or they're never online again. So I can't uh, usually get a rematch with most people. I would have uh, liked to uh, get more rematches here, but uh, unfortunately just, um, just doesn't uh, work out that way most of the time. But... Um, so that's, uh, that's the, uh, spread of different opponents I've faced. So, uh, next up I have a list of, uh, all the different Pokemon that I've used on the channel. Like I mentioned, uh, 42 total, um, those were pretty much condensed into, uh, seven different teams. I did do, uh, some, uh, team remixes and then in the multi-battles they got split up a little, but... Um, for the most part, it was just uh, seven core different teams. So I have the name of each uh, Pokemon uh, from top to bottom uh, based on number of appearances, starting on the left again and then going down and then uh, again on the right going down. And uh, so um, you will see uh, at the top of this list, I have uh, Swampert for having the most appearances of any Pokemon with uh, 16. And then uh, it just kind of uh, filters down from there all the way to the bottom right hand side with um, Empoleon, Houndoom, and Togekiss being tied for least appearances at 10 apiece. Um, and they're all pretty tight average around um, 13 or 14 appearances each. Um, and just to be clear, uh, when I say appearances, I uh, don't count if uh, the Pokemon was on my team and uh, I didn't switch it into the battle and ended up winning the battle without switching them in, I don't count that as an appearance. So they actually uh, have to have uh, taken part in the battle in order for me to count it as an appearance. So, um, so you'll see um, there's really uh, quite the spread of uh, different Pokemon. Um, there's really only one thing that all these Pokemon have in common, and that's that I just like them. Um, to be fair, I do like most Pokemon, but um, I tried to use uh, some of my favorites, or most of my favorites, I should say, here, um, because uh, that was the goal, was just to have fun uh, for me. As I mentioned before, that was a big goal. So um, that's really the thing that all these Pokemon have in common is I just really like them. Uh, now, in some cases, um, they were just added to the team because I already had four or five and I just needed, you know, one or two more to just balance the team out. So that's how some of them got used. But uh, again, the overwhelming majority of them were used because I like them, not because they're super OP or anything like that. Um, some of them are. Uh, most of them aren't actually... Um, my favorite tier to play is uh, Yu Yu just because uh, those Pokemon are good but uh, require um, being used properly in order to be effective. So that's really what I enjoy. Um, so um, then uh, here's another uh, stat sheet uh, about the types of Pokemon I used. So uh, you'll see at the top, uh, Flying takes first for uh, having used eight different flying types, and then um, steel and water tied for second with uh, seven apiece. And then it just kind of filters down from there uh, all the way to the bottom with uh, ice being the least. I actually haven't used a single ice type on the channel. Um, and um, reason for that is um, I don't really like a lot of ice type Pokemon. There are some I do, but um, most of them I'm not too fond of. And uh, the other reason is ice is, in my opinion, hands down the worst type for a Pokemon to have, uh, packing only uh, one resistance uh, 
and four weaknesses. So that's not not a good ratio at all. So um, that's really the reasoning behind that as well. Um, but you'll see um, it's pretty tight around uh, three or four different um, Pokemon from uh, most of the types. I tried, uh, especially toward the end, to get... Um, a good spread of uh, different types of Pokemon just to keep things interesting. Um, but, you know, um, certain types like uh, Flying Water and Steel especially, uh, I like a lot of different Pokemon that have those types, so they, those ended up toward the top. Plus, um, they are uh, very good types to have on a team as well, so um, that's just kind of how uh, that turned out. So uh, that is it, guys. Um, so uh, I had a lot of fun uh, doing the series as a whole. It was a great experience for me. Um, thank you to everybody uh, for watching me uh, the whole time. I appreciate all the positive feedback I've had. Um, like I said, these battles made up the overwhelming majority of the content here on the channel. So um, I'm overall very happy with the way everything turned out. So... Um, Obviously, uh, with this being the end of the uh, ORAS uh, Gen 6 content, that is going to leave, uh, at least momentarily, a big hole in the uh, content of the channel. But um, coming out uh, next time, I'm going to uh, prepare a uh, channel update video for you guys where I'm going to uh, talk about the future of the channel and um, go from there. So uh, thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new videos in the future. So that's it, and we will see you next time.